What unteachable creatures we are. Hey, that's what Thomas Case says about us in his treaties of affliction. Let's read a little bit of this and take note of this today. Look at what it says. Take notice from hence what unteachable creatures we are by nature. Man, that is true. By nature, because we have a sin nature. Our hearts are desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it? Jeremiah 17, 9 says. Continue reading. Who will not set our hearts to receive instruction till we are whipped? to it by the rod of correction and hardly then man that is strong isn't it dear friend I mean, what he's saying right there is that our hearts are not set to receive instruction from god until we are whipped by the rod of correction and then even then hardly then because man our hearts are so prideful unless god multiplies stripes it is not multiplying of precepts that will do us good there must be stripe upon stripe and affliction upon affliction, as well as line upon line, and precept above upon precept, or else it is in vain. So what Thomas Watson is saying here is that, man, unless we got some suffering coming into our hearts, that our hearts are not prepared to hear the truth, that we got to have precept upon precept, line upon line. He's talking about the Bible right there. But if we don't have some affliction and something to soften our heart to where we receive it, then it's all in vain. It's all for nothing. So I know this, dear friend, there is nothing that will humble us quite like pain and suffering will. I mean, it's unfortunate. Wouldn't it be great if we could learn without suffering? Wouldn't it be great that if we could just be like, if we could just read the Bible and learn and grow and be sanctified without any suffering in this world, but we can't. And here's another thing, dear friend, that I've learned is that with more suffering, with more pain, with more heartache, I fall less in love with myself. I fall less in love with this world and I fall more in love with the king of the kingdom of heaven. And I fall more in love with heaven and I look more forward to heaven. So, I mean, it is, it, yeah, hey, it's a shame that it takes suffering, that it takes the rod, that it takes, that it takes pain in our lives. But here's what I would come back to right here. Look at this, let's, let's, let's end where we started in this. Take notice from here, from hence, from this point, right where we are right now, what unteachable creatures we are by nature. So we need to pray, dear friend, that God would transform our nature to where we'd be easy, teachable, that we would be, it'd be easy for him to teach us, that we would learn his precepts, that we'd be humble in our heart, that our hearts would be soft and receptive to his truth, to his precepts, to his word.